What's up y'all, it's your girl Pretty Face and I'm checking in with this new video about how I got my followers up. So first and foremost, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I know a lot of people have been asking me about this. Last year, honestly, um, at the end of last year, I was probably like at 10K and before that, I was like at 3,000 for the longest. Um, so now I'm actually currently at 35K and yeah i actually been monetizing i'm making money from instagram so i want to let y'all know um pretty much how i got my following up so um the first thing that helped me back then when i went from 3,000 to 10,000 was going viral with the reel so you want to make sure that you're using reels and with the reels you can't just be posting anything you want to actually make sure that you're posting a viral sound the viral sound is what makes you go viral so if you're using just a sound from your just like how i'm talking if i post this i'll i'll get views or whatever but as far as it going viral most likely not because it's just a part of the algorithm <laughs> um with um instagram using viral sounds helps you go viral so that's the number one thing post you some reels girl post it with the viral sound and um that should help you a lot i think once i think my um video had got like a hundred and 15k views or whatever and as people were viewing those um like I, I was on the for you page as people were viewing those the followings came in so like i said i got to like 10k and then from there um i just started consistently posting which is number two um stay consistent with posting so i had stopped for a minute um because of some stuff but i had started consistently posting consistently uh post trying to post the reels a little bit you know here and there i really didn't understand it back then but i started posting more as far as you know myself my journeys whatever is going on and i think consistently posting is what helps keeps your followers too because they're at this point they want to see what you up to they want to see what's going on like a lot of people you'll be surprised that uh, a lot of people are trying to do the same thing that you do. A lot of people are into spirituality. A lot of people want to hear positive things. A lot of people, you know, are going on a journey, weight loss journey. A lot of people uh, are going through things, period. And they want somebody that kind of can relate to them. So post it consistently, letting them know, hey, I'm here. This is what I'm doing. You know, um, consistently posting does help keep your followers because as you're getting these followers, you can easily lose them, you know? So you got to stay consistent with posting. Um, the next one is just going to be, okay, so I've learned this thing with um, Instagram algorithm, and it's an algorithm with literally every everything in general, but it's social media, um, so I'm, I've learned that the times that you make a post determines if it's going to be a viral post or not. So I literally have a post, uh, in which I thought was a pretty nice picture, and I probably only got like... 700 likes on it whereas i post during a certain time frame for instance like a friday afternoon where people are known to be on social media all the time because it's friday you off whoop de woo and i've gotten a post that's like 10,000 views i mean 10,000 likes and comments so and it's kind of like and i'll show y'all the little video or whatever um like because once you have a um, public account, you can a creator account, you can actually see like what post got the most views, comments, or whatever. And I'll show y'all pretty much. Um, so basically, I had um, got like I said, like ten thousand likes on this one post, and which it was a nice post. But I'm like, okay, so why is it that when I post this, I'm not doing it, but when I post this, so I kind of realized the um, Instagram algorithm, and basically just determine the times that you post. So that's one of my secrets when you post. Um, pay attention, y'all, because a lot of times people just be out and about on a Saturday night, and you think, okay, I'm gonna make this post that. 3 a.m. in the morning just because this is when I took it and you're uploading it and you're literally half of your followers are not even seeing it because based on the IG algorithm a lot of people okay are trying to get started back ready for work and it just doesn't reach your viewers and your followers so make sure that you're posting and I'm actually I'm gonna hook y'all up I'm gonna I'm gonna um let y'all see 
the graph that I have to, on showing you when you should post and when it's most likely to get the most likes and views. So I got you. Another thing with the IG algorithm is using tags. Tags for me worked at the beginning, but now it doesn't. So I really don't tag. Um, but it just depends. I know that there are um, certain things like if you are trying to do something. So say for instance, um, I'm a curvy model, plus size model. So there is a hashtag when I'm trying to put myself out there as far as modeling, I can hashtag, okay, plus size model or plus size fashion so that people that are out there looking for plus size fashion or plus size model, when they click on the hashtag or whatever, they'll be able to see my picture or say, for instance, whatever you want to do, musician, you know, comedian or whatever, you want to use hashtags so that when people are looking for certain things that they are able to find you. So that helps get your followers up too, because if you have good content, um, which is our next thing. If you have good content, then people are going to always, you know, click on your, your profile. So, th again, that is my next thing, having good content. You know, this, being an influencer and posting on social, it's like a job. No cap. Like, this takes time out of my day. Like, I like to make sure everything's good. You can't just be posting all willy-nilly. Like, this is literally like a job. So, you want to make sure that you're putting your heart into it. You want to make sure that you're not just doing whatever like you don't just want to take a picture like and think that you know you want to have some confidence behind it you want to get up and make sure your makeup's done you want to or if it's a natural face you want to make sure you ain't got no boogers in your eyes like you want to make sure that like you put yourself out there and you put yourself out there right like you want to have good content so that people can come back like good content matters Y'all think if I was just posting, you know, if it was dark in the background, my feet was ashy and stuff like that. Like, no, like you want to make sure that you're posting good content because that matters, especially if you want to become an influencer. Brands look at that. So um, be mindful of that. And then um, my last thing, most important thing to me is just being original. Like at the end of the day, you want to be yourself. Like you can, I feel like you can look out for other influencers and try to see what they're doing to help you become um more out there but you always want to be original me personally i um learned this by just going through the hoops honestly trying to figure it out like it kind of intrigued me with the algorithm okay when i post this time boom this happened okay when i post this time so i kind of started just practicing it myself and going from there i'm trying to get my page more organized so that it looks so i can have better content and now that i have reached um followers and now that i have been monetized so i can make money through instagram and tiktok and whatever social media um now i want to make sure that the content that i'm providing is good content so um but again like i said just being original i'm always just gonna be me when it comes to outfits and when it comes to posting i'm always gonna be my goofy self i know a lot of people be like girl like are you supposed to be a baddie you supposed to be serious and all this but i'm if you know me i'm always gonna crack a joke i'm always gonna crack a smell i'm always gonna do something goofy that's just me and you should do whatever is you you know what i'm saying be original because i feel like that's what people like to see is authenticity like at the end of the day yes the algorithm might work a real might work but you want to be original you want to continue to be yourself you want to show authenticity you want to show your followers who you are and i think that once you do that along with these other things you will continue to grow your following like i said uh when i took that picture that um i posted for the um cover i think i was at like 33 now i'm at 35 and y'all literally every time i check my instagram i have like 100 new followers 100 new followers and this is like literally i check my instagram a couple uh times during the day and it's literally like new 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 okay you got new this you got new that and yeah that's pretty much how i get my following up every time i check my instagram i'm literally like even if people comment me or tag me in certain things sometimes i can't actually see it because i have so many notifications coming in and again that's just from consistently posting now say for instance if i did have just that one post that went viral and it's like okay what else is to come like you gotta stay consistent you gotta be original you gotta play around with the algorithm and yes yeah, just be you and do you and good luck to y'all if y'all trying to look don't care about what nobody got to say about you 
doing this. Like a lot of people always have to say, oh, she trying to be an IG model, da da da. But look, when I tell y'all, like I didn't realize how much money it was. My first time being monetized, y'all, I uh, made up to a uh, uh, $1,200, just my first, very first time. So when I seen it, I'm like, hold up. You know, like I can make this from, you know what I'm saying? Just from posting reels, posting videos, like what? And then even from TikTok, I've now been monetized on TikTok and can make money there. So it's just like, okay, like this literally can become a job. Not to mention so many different brands have reached out to me like, okay, can you promote this? Um, even people, followers, like, okay, what is it to post this on your story? Just because they see that the viewing is there, the, the you know, the um, followers are there and whatever. So you can make money. You definitely can. If you want to, like I said, you got to be about it. Like you can't just post something once and just let it go. You got to be consistent. You got to be original and you have to care about the content that you're putting out. Now I'm going to go ahead and end this video because it definitely became a little bit too long, but I hope this got, this helps you guys. If y'all have any questions, definitely comment down below or message me on um, Instagram at pretty face jazz. And y'all can even go check my comments out, check my, um, my post out and just to see like this is no joke y'all i'm keeping it a uh, 100 100 with y'all doing the same thing that i did in order to boost my followers and start making money from social media so thank you guys for watching i'm gonna go ahead and check out let me know if you like this video and i'm out i'm that bitch yeah. been that bitch still that bitch I